How many of you went to go see the opera champion? Yeah? Raise your hands. Do y'all remember the boxer? The boxer, Emil Griffith? Yeah? Can you tell me what happened to Emil? Yes, he had dementia, okay? Remember, he had too many head injuries from getting hit in the head in boxing, and he had trouble remembering things as he got older. We're going to learn how to keep ourselves and our children safe from head injuries in sports, in the workplace, and in everyday life. How many of you have children? One? Boy or girl? Girl. And how old is she? Seven and a half. How about anybody else? I play basketball with my nephew. You play basketball with your nephew? Yeah. Okay. Let's begin with the instructions on the first page. Dan. Will you please read the instructions for us? Please read loud and clear so everybody can understand you and everyone else is going to be quiet and to listen. Reading for the facts is a skill of reading a text to find specific information. This is an important life skill to master and will help improve your test taking abilities. Reading for the facts is the skill of reading a text to find specific information. Students should work in pairs or in small groups to answer the following questions. Regina, would you please read the first section what is a concussion? What is a concussion? A concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury, or TBI, caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head, or by a hit to the body that causes the head and brain to move quickly back and forth. Concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury, or TBI, caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head, or by a hit to the body that causes the head and brain to move back quickly back and forth. Margaret, would you please read the section, How Can I Keep My Children or Teens Safe? Yes. How can I keep, help keep my children or teens safe? Sports are a great way for children and teens to stay healthy and can help them do well in school. To help lower your children or teens chances of getting a concussion or other serious brain injury, you should help create a culture of safety for the team, work with their coach to teach ways to lower the chances of getting a concussion, emphasize the importance of reporting concussions and taking time to recover from one, ensure that they follow their coach's rules for safety and the rules of the sport, Tell your children or teens that you expect them to practice good sportsmanship at all times. Dan, would you please read, how can I spot a possible concussion? Okay. How can I spot a possible concussion? Children and teens who show or report one or more of the signs and symptoms listed below, or simply say they just don't feel right after a bump, blow, or jolt to the head or body, may have a concussion or other serious brain injury. Signs observed by parents appears dazed or stunned, forgets an instruction, is confused about an assignment or position, or is unsure of the game score or opponent, moves clumsily, answers questions slowly, loses consciousness even briefly, shows mood, behavior, or personality changes, can't recall events prior to or after a hit or fall. What should I do if my child or teen has a possible concussion? Margaret. What should I do if my child or teen has a possible concussion? As a parent, if you think your child or teen may have a concussion, you should remove your child or teen from play. Keep your child or teen out of the Your child or teen should be seen by a healthcare provider and only return to play with permission from a healthcare provider who is experiencing and evaluating your concussion. Ask your child or teen's healthcare provider for written instructions on helping your child or teen return to school. What should I do if my child or teen has a possible concussion? You should remove them from play, keep them out of play on the day of the injury, 
and only return them to play with a doctor's permission, okay? See where it says healthcare provider? That's another name for a doctor, a school nurse, or another healthcare professional. A repeat concussion that occurs while the brain is still healing from the first, from the first injury can be very serious and can affect a child or teen for a lifetime. It can even be fatal. Let's have a look at this word, fatal. Can anybody tell me what this word means? Fatal. Deadly. Deadly. Fatal means deadly. Or you can die from it. Fatal means you can die from it. So if you get a repeat concussion while your brain is still healing from the first concussion, then you can die from it. Can't recall events prior to or after a hit or fall. So prior to or after means before or after, okay? So you can't recall events before or after a hit or a fall, you may have a concussion. Let's take out our worksheets and look at questions one through 14. What is a concussion and what causes it? Dan. Um, a concussion is a traumatic brain injury caused by a blow to the head or a hit to the body. Number two, Margaret. What are two reasons why children should play sports? Okay, there's two reasons. Sports help children and teens to stay healthy and do well in school. Number three, Regina. Can you tell me what are two ways to keep your child or teen safe from concussions. Two ways. To help create a culture of safety for the teen. Help create a culture of safety. Teach them to wear a helmet. Two ways to keep your child safe from concussions. Number one, create a culture of safety. And number two, teach your child to always wear a helmet. Two ways, create, create a culture of safety and teach your child to always wear a helmet. Number four, Dan, there are four ways to create a culture of team safety. Name one of them. Okay. One of the four ways. Work with their coach to teach ways to lower the chances of getting. To teach ways of uh, preventing them from getting a concussion. Number two, what's another way, Margaret? Mm -hmm. Emphasize the importance of reporting concussions and taking time to recover from one. Yes, very good. Emphasize the importance of taking time to recover from concussions, okay, and reporting them. Regina, number three, what's a third way? Ensure that they rules of the sport. Yes, follow the rules for safety and follow the rules for the sport. The last one, number four, Dan, what's the fourth way to? Tell your children or teens that you expect them to practice good sportsmanship at all times. Should parents invest in a concussion-proof helmet for their children? Why or why not? Yes, because it's important to prevent concussions. Why is that false? Why is it? Why is the answer no? I think I do remember us reading maybe that there's not actually a helmet that is concussion proof. That's right. It says there is no such thing as a concussion proof helmet. Okay? There's no such thing. So even if you wear the proper helmet, it's still possible to get a concussion. Okay? So the correct answer for number five is should parents invest in a concussion-proof helmet for their children? The answer is no, 
because there's no such thing. What are some of the signs to look for when identifying a possible concussion in someone? They appear dazed or stunned. They appear dazed or stunned. What else? Dan? Forgets an instruction, is confused about an assignment or position, or is unsure of the game, score, or opponent.